written on my blog about the power of framing, of creating context, to support your group's position in negotiations. For example, framing negotiations around quality, not cost. Or as an example of the same argument coming from close to the polar opposite, consider the government's arg argument that accountable care organizations are all about quality, not cost. Related to framing is the power of the story, from the fairy tales that your parents read to you when you were a child, to the story of your group and its meaning to the hospital, its meaning to referring physicians, to patients, and even to the community at large. A few minutes before recording this, on a whim, I, I googled who discovered America. I found the popular stories of Christopher Columbus, claims that it was actually Leif Erikson or other Vikings or others citing Chinese explorers, or perhaps it was the Basques. Others poopa all this and they say, what about Native Americans? But even they didn't come from here, their ancestors came from Asia. My point isn't who discovered America, but rather that there are a number of believable stories about who discovered America. People buy into the story they believe and discredit the others. So the underlying truth really isn't the point no one can force you to believe. You do all the believing yourself in your own head. Now, of course, it's really not that simple because while someone can't force you to believe, they can certainly create conditions that make it conducive for you to believe. That's the whole point of advertising and of sales, telling a story that resonates with you so well that you develop a coherent belief. What story are you telling about your practice? If you're not telling one, or if you're not telling it convincingly, someone else is out there telling another story about you or your group that's likely to be believed. These aren't amorphous or esoteric concepts. They have real world application. They are as much a part of negotiating your next contract, for example, an exclusive with the hospital, as in the face-to-face -face stage of negotiation when you're sitting across the table from one another hammering out paragraph 47. Abe Lincoln learned to write using a piece of charcoal from the fireplace, right? George Washington cut down the cherry tree and admitted it, right? What's your story?